Hey guys, so uh, hopefully some of you saw the pictures that uh, I put out there. I just got back from not too long ago, uh, worn out, uh, but just got back from uh, Wounded Knee, South Dakota on the in Indian Reservation. And the pictures that I posted, I, I didn't post the devastation, I didn't post the housing, I didn't post pictures of people, uh, and I did that for a reason, but um, I just kind of wanted to give an update of what I saw. Uh, I went there with LifePoint Church. I'm a member there. Uh, they send teams there, uh, and there was a team uh, that had left and gotten there a little bit before I before I got there. But uh, I was asked to come, and uh, because there's addiction that's ravishing in that area, I had the opportunity to minister with with men and pray with men, uh, and talk with some different leadership about uh, some things that S2L is doing. Uh, most of you know, uh, or hopefully most of you know that I'm. Uh, work with uh, an addiction, a faith-based, Christ-centered addiction recovery facility, and so that's why I was asked to come. Uh, and so I went, and and here's the deal: um, in that in that space of addiction recovery, uh, I've seen a lot. I'm pretty knowledgeable of what's going on in the nation, statistics, those kind of things. Uh, and Wounded Knee, by far, uh, is the most devastated community by addiction that I've ever seen or heard of. Uh, not to belittle the devastation that's going on everywhere else, uh, but I've never seen just the massive amount of people that are devastated by it uh, and the, that the culture is, is, is response to it. So uh, I was um, there and, and I, I just, God's really putting things on my heart. I can't go there and see what I saw and have no response and do nothing. Um, so I, I'm going to ask you guys to pray with me uh, what, what we could do, what, what I could do, what S2L Recovery, what we could do. I had some thoughts, but I need to talk with leadership and see what's going on there. Uh, maybe training up their men. Uh, but it is a, I can't even explain to you in this, this video, uh, but it's just a very hard place uh, to do ministry. A very hard place to do really any kind of organizational type stuff um, just because of the devastation that's there and, the, and that you're really wanting to train up a leader that's gonna of of the Lakota tribe and really train up someone and it's just it's hard and so God's put it on my heart and I don't know I don't know what to do uh, pray with me that, that there is a solution there uh, one interesting thing I, I spoke with uh, um, uh, Lakota woman in her 70s she's in a wheelchair and she just has a beautiful beautiful heart she's a believer in christ and has been for over 50 years and she engaged in a conversation with me that gave me some perspective uh she said you know adam um we believe that jesus came with uh christopher columbus in 1492 and immediately i started thinking okay you know i've heard this, this is kind of the white man's religion the english white man's religion that's where she's going with it um and so i kind of began to prepare a response you know jesus wasn't a white man god's chosen people were not white men uh or english men uh and, and but i remembered wait she's a believer she's been a believer for over 50 years and so i was like well okay well what do you mean and she said something that really just hit me. She goes, that's over 500 years since Christopher Columbus and this religion came. And there's still people here, my people that haven't heard this good news. And so there's two perspectives there. One, there is an obstacle of that's their religion, not ours. And then, and then there's an obstacle of men they haven't been reached. Um, and as a lot of you know that, that follow our ministry, that we believe that there's freedom from addiction. And so... Man, uh, I don't know. I'm, so I'm just posting this, kind of an update. Some people were asking how was the trip. Uh, I feel like I've said this a few times. I just wanted to say it. But, um, yeah, please join me in prayer uh, just for the Lakota people, Wounded Knee, South Dakota. Um, because I believe, I mean, the only thing I can think is just revival is going to have to break out. Uh, and there's going to have to be uh, some strong men and women of God, leaders that step up and show this hope in, in this place, in this hopeless place. So, guys, I appreciate it. Sorry, it's kind of a long video, but I just got back kind of tired and processing. Uh, and, um, but that's, that's, that's the update. That's what my last week has looked like. Got back, 
Love them, my family. Came out to my office preparing for tomorrow, and I wanted to shoot this. So, love you guys.